Sometimes life can be vicious and choose to bite those most vulnerable and latch on with indiscriminate cruelty. And for three brothers in this unfortunate accident, life bit hard and their lives were about to be irreparably changed by an invisible killer they brought into their own home. Their story begins in Estonia in the year 1994. The three brothers were not wealthy men and in order to provide for their families, a way to secure money was paramount. An any means necessary approach in the battle against crippling poverty will often propagate precarious situations and the importance of keeping vigilant is outweighed by the prospect of gains. The brothers were scrap metal salvagers. The hunt for bits of deserted alloys brought the brothers to a nearby forest, and in said forest was what appeared to be an abandoned facility. In order to enter the area, the brothers made the first mistake in their ill-fated escapade. They climbed over a fence. Now climbing a fence was not the issue, the issue was that the point of entry lacked the posted warning signs which would have probably resulted in a completely different outcome for all members involved had they seen them. While surveying the area, the brothers made minimal discoveries of any salvageable material and things took a regrettable turn as Ivan found himself being moderately injured when a metal drum fell on him. The unknown drums themselves could have been an adequate find if they were empty but it was quickly discovered that they were in fact filled with something that increased their weight substantially, making bringing them with them impractical. So with things going so poorly, the brothers picked up some loose bits of metal lying around, just enough to fill their pockets. Ivan was the only one to place anything of consequence in his pocket, and with that they departed the area. Unknown to Ivan was that the piece of metal he had hurriedly buried in his pocket had come from inside the very barrel which caused him injury. The cylindrical item was actually a strong cesium-137 radioactive source, and he had just put that directly next to his body. The trip back to his residence was all the time needed for it to begin breaking down cells and start to destroy his DNA, meaning that the body's ability to reproduce damaged cells is negated. He had received a full body 4,000 rad dose, with the typical amount needed being 1,000 to result in certainty of death. Ivan would die 12 days later, and the death shocked not only his family, but also medical professionals. How could somebody who seemingly was healthy succumb to an illness with hardly enough time to even identify the underlying symptoms? Not long after Ivan died, the family dog died as well. Again, this invisible killer pulsating its stream of deadly radiation struck, but it wasn't until Ivan's son developed a radiation burn on his hand from handling the piece of metal his father had brought home that anybody even knew radiation was to blame. Had anybody been aware earlier about what was to blame for the tragic events, Ivan's son could have been spared the undoubtedly excruciating pain. The delay of vital information was due to the brothers being reluctant to disclose anything to the authorities for fear of repercussions. I'd like to thank you for watching this quick video, and if you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It truly helps me continue doing this. This has been What A Way To Go, reminding you to stay cautious and stay tuned.